Praises to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the second part on how to pray. Have you ever really trusted God? Have you ever known someone who really trusted God? Well, I know of someone and that's my mother. It's the way she wholeheartedly and blindly trusted Jesus that made me a born again person it's her it's the miracle that worked in her life it's her, her prayerful life it's a testimony that changed me that made me a born again person my mother she used to pray very often she would tell me always about something she was trusting god to take care of and Every time I go home I would see God do something unusual to answer her prayers. The biggest reason why God answers my mother's prayers was she had a strong relationship with God and she actually listened to what God said. God spoke to her in dreams and visions and it would always come true. because she used to pray very earnestly and with faith in her mind god had the right to direct her in life and she welcomed him doing just that when she prayed for things it was a natural part of her relationship with god she felt very comfortable coming to god with her needs her concerns and whatever issues were there in her life Furthermore she was convinced from what she read in the Bible that God wanted her to rely on him just like that and that was blindly so she really trusted Jesus blindly she pretty much exhibited what this statement from the Bible says in 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us. So so is in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12 for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers. God showed my mother it was time for her to leave this earth. and as the family to be with the lord he showed her the day and time she was going to pass away and she died on the same day god showed her that was another miracle in her life so first begin to have a relationship with god that's my advice to everyone read this wonderful verse from John chapter 10 verse 14 I am the good shepherd I know my sheep and my sheep know me my sheep listen to my voice and I know them and they follow me I give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one can snatch them out of my hand this is what Jesus said then whom should we fear so get connected with jesus have a communication with jesus be intimate with jesus when we look back of the physical posture of praying jesus used to pray kneeling he used to kneel and pray it says in mark chapter 14 verse 35 kneel before god and pray the satan will flee when He sees God's children kneeling and praying. Solomon used to pray kneeling and he prayed in the in he prayed to the Lord in front of the altar kneeling in 1 Kings in uh, chapter 8 verse 54 says and so is in 2 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 12 Daniel used to kneel down and pray three times a day and thank God that is in daniel chapter 6 verse 10 jesus of jesus often slipped away to be alone and pray so i think we should also go and be go and be alone and pray in our rooms so go to your so go be on your knees go into your room close the doors and pray 
you can tell your father whatever you want in your closed rooms you can open out your problems now let us all pray this prayer together thank you almighty father for giving us your word and the holy spirit who opens our mind to understand and change ourselves all things are possible by you lord what is impossible my man is possible by you o father thank you o father for bringing me into your family i give you my whole self lord that you may grow in me so that it is you who lives works and prays in me lord i pray that all through this day by the power of thy spirit let your word touch the lives of others for good whether through your word i speak or through the prayers i speak or through the life i live lord jesus keep me lord jesus in your will i pray in jesus name amen